Yeah, Jan blundered. He sh Knight takes D. Oh, I could have taken and gone Queen B6. What am I doing? <sighs> Okay, let's play yawn. Actually, I, do, I don't play yawn for a while. I think I I think I play yawn around the end of this event. Um, let's just go knight c6 again. Play knight f6, knight d7. Okay, he plays bishop b2. Let's play f6, knight f6. This is actually what I was playing the other day against him, r2 as well. How high do you have to be to beat yawn to make it plus? It's plus five, minus six. So because my rating is so low right now, it's like just two to one and it's even three to one i gain points basically um he plays c5 i'm gonna go bishop f4 here and knight e7 knight g6 i play yeah i know i play ali reza on one set i thought i could play e5 here but it might just be bad i'm still gonna do it anyway three three to one against yan is not easy no of course it's not easy but i mean it's still doable I mean, two to one is break even. If I beat Yon two to one I, I and mean, I don't lose points, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, I'm 32 29, which is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I mean, I should be like, plays knight c1, which is weird. I mean, I know, I get he wants knight e5. Maybe it's, hmm. Hmm. Whatever, let's just play knight e4. Who cares? And queen f6, I guess. Knight e5, I take and take on c5, I think. His rook c1 at the end. Just take. Rook c1, knight e... What am I missing? I don't see it. What am I missing? I just don't see it. Okay, I just play... I can play knight e4. I can also just play c6. Yeah, c6 looks good. If he takes, I just take, and then I take b2 at the end. So I like my position here. Let's just take. So I think I play bishop a6 and queen b2 here. Oh, he's got bishop e2, but I take and play f3. I had to play bishop a6 first. If I took on b2, he had bishop takes d5, and then he would have been able to win uh, my rook on e8. So that's why I had to throw this in. Oh, he's got rook e6 anyway, though. Hmm. Very bad. Okay, let's just play rook b8, put pressure on the pawn on b2. I want to play b3, and then I'll go rook e8, and it's probably just equal, but it's it's a game of chess. It's queen a4. That I was not expecting, however. I think I'll just drop back and go bishop... Oh, I could have gone bishop d3. Why didn't I just go bishop d3? Because now I'm fine, but the bishop should have been on d3, where it has easier access points instead of c8. I guess I'll go, um, I think I'm gonna play g5, g4 here. If he takes, I just take. Okay, now I'm gonna play g4. Rooks are pretty good here for me as well. I think I just go queen g6. I'm definitely playing g4 next move, 150%. So he plays Bishop G4. Thank you to Rich SMO for the sub with Prime. Thank you so much. And I assume I just take and go F3 and Rook F3. Should be fine for me, but maybe it's not. Um, no crazy house. This is real chess. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel too. Okay, plays Rook E5. Okay, if I take... Queen F6. Oh, I could have gone Queen H6 to threaten mate. It might have been better, but this should be fine anyway. It's very dry. Probably this is just a draw. Okay, let's focus. Um, um, it's just a draw, I think. H6, rookie 6 is a problem. Queen H4, no, that's no good. D4 is no good. Uh, I should just make a draw here. Although, is this even a draw? I might be insane. Yeah, I think this is just a draw. 
Or no, it's, maybe it's not. Oh, shoot. C6. Wait, why do you do that? Takes H4, H3. This is just a draw, I think. Let's see, I can play Rook G3. King F2, G4 takes six. I'm gonna try it. I don't know why I did this. This is still a draw, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not good. Should have had something there. King F7. King F7 was winning. Instead of uh, King G6, King F7 was winning. Play knight D2. Let's play knight F3 and takes. Play rook E1. Uh, E5, knight F1. Can I G4? Place a3 here. It could just be three. Just, um, it's bishop e3. I'm gonna go queen d2 next move. Let's go. I guess just rook a d1. Control the c4 break at some point. Okay, I can play knight h4, but I think just bishop f4 is better. Thank you to Knights Tour um, 86 for the 13 months. Thank you so much. Um, I just guess just queen c1, just kind of chill. Play knight e3, knight e3 here. He goes knight e4. I think I can just take and go back to g4, because I can always double the rooks on the second rank. Now I do have queen a1 maybe. Queen a1, rook c2. Maybe bishop f3. I'm gonna play bishop f1 here. What are the plans? Thank you to Deus for the sub with Prime. Thank you so much. What are the plans for the new setup? I haven't exactly figured out what I'm doing. Um, rook c3, rook d2, and it's just. Wait, what? Can you get away with this? Oh, he just got queen b2 at the end. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. So I'm blind. Oh. Yeah, I just got queen b2. I'm completely insanely blind. So I just take and go rook d2. Gotta move quicker. Guess I put the knight on f3 and I hope. Nice two knight f3, of course. I mean, you can obviously ignore it, but if I take and get d4, it's not so trivial for black. No, this is just terrible for me. Yeah, no, it's just garbage. Let me just Yeah, it's just terrible. I don't know what I'm doing right now. That's just this is just awful what am I doing? Not playing good shots at the moment. Play E5 nice C6 here. Oh, he played, he played f4. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's go f5. It's going to take. Yeah, I'm just not, not playing well. It's 
play d6 next move. take with pawn no Nepo is a good player obviously but I mean that that game was really really bad actually maybe it goes g4 here h5 bishop f5 very weird game I'll probably sack it you must beat Nepo you always beat Nepo don't worry chat don't worry the bug I mean the the crazy house kind of like dulled my enthusiasm a little bit I'm not gonna lie so um okay I'm just gonna sack a piece this is actually very Daniel style this is a Daniel style game Okay, I just play d5 and bishop g4 is a threat now bishop b4 goes b3 hmm. okay I don't know if this works but it's something And just bishop g4 next move maybe it's very very weird i have queen h4 check also actually which i completely forgot about because now now he doesn't block play bishop g4 i think i'm just gonna castle I can play e3 next move i can also just go i think bishop d6 bishop f4 looks good because i'm hitting the pawn he still can't castle i take i misplayed this also Maybe bishop f3 though actually actually bishop f3 is good because I can take and take if he moves the queen he loses the rook if he takes I just take and I go rook e8 so it should be should still be good okay queen f2 so I can play rook a e8 of course do I have rook e2 maybe b2 knight e2 queen b2 rook c1 very sharp it's definitely oh maybe just d4 then he takes on f3 i don't like that hmm bishop h6 rook g1 bishop h6 rook e1 there's got to be some way that i'm winning here i just have to figure it out i'm just gonna go bishop e5 bishop d oh but then he's got knight d5 Maybe not. I still, Bishop B4 is still playable. Let's go Bishop D. Oh, I blundered Knight D5 here. Knight D5 there. So bad. Let's go. I guess just F2. Threaten Rookie One maybe. Threaten Queen F3 maybe. No, this is a regular chess. But I think I'm winning because Rook is so passive here on A1. He plays Rook B1. Queen E6 looks winning. There are no good knight moves. Yeah, queen e6 must be winning. Queen e1 is just such a threat with rook f3 also. Can't move the knight because then he gives up e2. I'm threatening also just take. I think it's just lost for white. I didn't get past the tutorial. Yeah, I mean, the tutorial looked too weird to me, honestly, so I didn't get past it. But yeah, this is just winning. Okay, resigns. Okay, that, that's, that, that's much better. Okay, let's play e4. Uh, what's going on? Is he disconnected? Fill the pain, Jan. Yes, that, that was a Daniel game, totally. Daniel would have loved to have that position as black. That was completely a Daniel game. All the way, baby. He's taking go knight f3, bishop c4. Right, he's playing this weird queen d7 line, which is not precise. It's castle. I'm gonna go queen e2 and rook d1. I'm gonna play this the other way. Um, a4, rook d1 next move. If e5, I just take the... Okay... Oh, but he's always got this e5. I keep forgetting he can play e5 here. Okay, I guess I'll go knight b3 then in a5 or something. That was pretty mediocre. Is knight c6 and f5 is more interesting than people get, give it credit for? Well, I actually played knight c6 and f5 against uh, Vasily Ivanchuk in a um in a in a, a tournament in in france so, in cap dag several years ago so I, I am aware of it um what about queen d2 I, I really would like to play queen d2 and like queen c3 and bishop e3 try to activate somehow like bishop e3 next move 
Yeah, bishop e3. Threaten bishop c5. With b6, I just go a5 here, put pressure on all the points. Yeah, I played against Ivanchuk. Yeah, it was rapid. Yes, it was completely rapid. Let's go queen. I guess queen e1 and f3 looks very traditionally correct here. Uh, bishop f5. Wow. f3, knight d6. Maybe just bishop, uh, bishop d3. Yeah, bishop d3 looks good. I like it. Because now I'm threatening also to like take. I've got threats with bishop c5. This looks really bad for, for black. Does Ivanchik still playing or was he was he committed? <laughs> yeah, I think Vasily Ivanchik still plays chess from time to time. I thought I could take and take. What am I missing? What am I? Wait, knight f2? I don't know what I'm missing, so I'm just going to take. I trust I'm not blundering. So if he takes on d3, I take with the pawn and then his knight hangs. I'll pre-move it because he surely won't do it, but it's a good pre-move. Yeah, he does play knight f2. Wow. Um, but this can't really be good for black, can it? The king looks so open somehow, but maybe it's not... It's not quite so clear. Hmm. Yeah, it's just... Trade one set or keep one set of rooks on the board. Oh, I also have bishop g7, maybe. Oh, yeah, bishop g7... Yeah, I just take. And I'm just up a pawn. Oh, he's got queen e6 at the end? No, but I have knight c5 hitting the queen. So it's, this should be good for me. So let's take and take. I'm up. Oh, but he's got queen b4 here. Eek. I missed that. Still should be good after queen c2, though. Should be good. Maybe it's not. Rook c8, king h1. Oh, he goes rook h8. Now I have queen c4. He's trying to take and mate me, so... h3, queen g4. There's no actual mate threat, though. Is there? Wait, I didn't think there was a mate threat, though. If I play rook e1... Yeah, there's no mate threat, because I can take and block. And I can go queen e2 and hit the pawn, and there's queen g4, and I should be fine. Oh, but he's got bishop f2. I missed bishop f2 completely, and now I'm just lost, probably. Yeah, he's got bishop f2. I mean, what am I doing? Oh, no, I, oh, no I've got queen e5. What am I thinking? I've got queen takes e5. Okay, e4. F1, maybe? No, rook f1 lose. I'm just too slow. Let's play rook d1. Yeah, I'm just not thinking right now. Yeah, I'm just not thinking. This is ridiculous. I mean, I was completely fine there. And I just throw it all away for no reason. Knight c6. Knight 7, knight g6. Terrible, terrible. Absolutely just completely winning, and I just threw that all away. Queen c4, and it's just, like, completely fine. Just take and go knight f6 here. Play d6 and just castles. If h4, probably knight e7. No, I'll just play h6 if h5, knight e7 here. Okay, bishop h3. Let's play c6 and chop it up. I'm not in a good mood today. I was in a good mood until I started playing this this stupid crazy house. That that sort of started getting me in a bad mood. Um, I was in a good mood until then. That just really started to sour my mood. Let's play d5 here. Moods are fleeting, yeah. Okay, but knight d5, I have bishop b7 or something. I don't know. Let's go bishop b7, queen f6, of course. I can take. Um... No, I mean, I'm not mad about about the game specifically. I'm just not in a good mood. And I haven't been in a good mood since I started playing since I started playing that uh the uh the 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 the, the crazy house. That kind of really started to ruin my mood. Okay, maybe E4 is a move here. Yeah, let's go E4 knight E5. This makes sense. Um yeah. Okay, knight E5. Now there's knight D3, knight C4. There's some tricks here. 
What's that? No, it's not because I lost. Not because I lost. I just I didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy the crazy house. It, it's like it's not the winning and losing. I'm not. I'm not any good at crazy house. But I just I don't. It, it, it's it, if I'm not enjoying it. Like if I if I lost creative games and it's fun, that's fine. But it's like when you're just losing games and it's not. You don't really find it enjoyable. Like, I mean, that's more what the issue is for me. Like even this. I mean, it's it's not like I'm I'm, I'm annoyed by losing the games, but it's like. But it's it's more that it's just like I'm not enjoying it. That that's more what it is. Um, okay, but now I have rook c8. Yeah, Jan blundered. He sh knight takes d. Oh, I could have taken and gone queen b6. What am I doing? <sighs> okay, but now I go queen a5 and rook d8 traps the queen. So this actually is going to work out for me, even though it shouldn't, because king b1, rook d8 is queen is getting trapped on d4 here. Yeah, yeah, this actually is just losing for white, unless I'm missing something. Because he can't move the queen because I take the pawn on b2. Um, once again, big shout out to nearly 6,000 people who are watching. Hope you're all having a great Monday evening, wherever you are in the world. I um, uh, hope, hope you're staying safe and surviving in this uh, in this very tough, tough time. <laughs> okay, he's got bishop h3. Right, that's, that's actually a very good move. Might be the only move, in fact. Um, but I know there's got to be some way I'm winning here. D8 is no good. Rook C6 is a move. Queen B4, B3. Queen B4, Rook D2, Rook D8. This should be winning. Thank you to Jim Naroditsky for gifting a sub to, uh, yeah, F5 is a move. But now I play Rook D8. He's got to take. I go King H7. I mean, this must be winning. Like E3. No, this has to be winning. This there's just too there's too much pressure here on on every every point basically. E2 is coming as well to remove the knight from B2. I mean H5 does nothing. No, it's just over. Get some Kofefe. Kofefe. I still have some Kofefe. Thank you to Chesswool for the tier one. Thank you so much to Chesswool. Okay, I assume just e2 wins. What am I missing? I also can play bishop e4, but e2 just looks clean. And if I just... Wait, I have queen a3 also. Yeah, let's play queen a3. Yeah, it just resigns. Okay. That's a better game. I'm not very thrilled by it. Thank you to Yaboy Jay-Z for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Let's play knight c3. Uh, bishop g5, maybe e3 next move. Okay, let's go e3. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Let's go knight f3. That's bishop e2. Don't really know what I'm doing. This is a terrible opening as well, but maybe I can make it work. Okay, knight e5. I also have knight e2. Yeah, let's go knight e2 and knight e2. Something different. Keep beating Nepo. We won the Cold War. We'll do it again. Cold War was a long time ago. I, I mean, the whole generate like there's such, it's just not the same anymore. Like it just really isn't the same. Like it, in, unless you were around during that time in Russia, like it's just it's just not the same. Like the younger generation in Russia, they just they, it's just not a thing. Let's play a three. <laughs> Cold War isn't over. No, it's it's over, Chad. It's it's over. Let's take. I guess I will just. This is so garbagey, but I think I'm okay. I take and go knight e2. I'll get c3. I'm probably marginally worse, but I shouldn't be losing at least. Okay, c3. And now if I get f4, I'm actually, I think, really happy here. Yeah, I think I'm very happy here because I just go rook b1. I want to go uno, dos, tres. Yeah, one, two, three. That's what I want. Okay, one, two, three. Dos. Maybe I should have played g4 f5. I don't know. This might be a little bit slow, but I could be wrong. Could be a touch slow. Maybe g4 here. Let's think. G4. Yeah, let's just go g4 and f5. Let's just go for the attack. I don't know if knight g1 was good. I, I should have probably just played g4 f5, like throwing all caution to the wind. Oh, I plays a5. I was not expecting that, actually. f5. Ah, uh, he wants e5. Queen d1 is fine. I mean, 
Knight f3, b4, knight d2. Knight f3, b4. Ugh. Whatever, let's just do it. Wow, it just takes. Interesting. Okay, so now I go knight e... Or do I... No, I guess I take and go knight e2. Takes, I just take, of course. Should be okay here. Okay, goes king g7. Problem now for black, though, is now I start to create problems. Like, rook f3 and rook f1 is coming. It's still okay, but black's gonna have to trade queens, and then black can never claim an edge because the knight is really good here. And then secondly, I can also put pressure on the pawn. His bishop can't really attack attack my pawns very easily. Okay, rook e8. Oh, rook e8's actually a very good move. I missed it. Completely missed it. Um, knight f4, maybe? What about knight f4? Yeah, I'm gonna go knight f4. I'm moving way too slowly, though. Also, I'm gonna trade on g6 next move for sure, like 99%. Unless he takes on c3, and then I don't have a choice. So I'll pre-move bc3 here. I like your sweater. Thank you, Dragon Meat Z. It's a sweater that I got from my mom from uh, Peru. It's an it's a alpaca. Okay, obviously I take. Let's go to g1. Knight g6 is actually a huge threat. Knight h5 is also a huge threat here. Actually, black might be lost. This might just be completely lost for black. Um, okay. Check. Qua. Okay, let's go again. Play e5. If Jan wants to show his prep, um, by all means, he can show his prep. Uh, let's go bishop e6, of course. Rook h6. Let's go bishop b4. Let's go b6. How is Peru? I'd like to volunteer to go there someday. I didn't go there actually. My mom bought it when she was there. I've been I've been through there a couple of times, but um, I mean Peru is great though. It's a great country. My mom did the. My mom went to Machu Picchu. I I, I haven't done that. So it's just Bishop f5 and knight d5 looks good. If e6, I go f6, and he loses the pawn in h3. does play e6 wow i didn't think he could do this if i play f6 knight f7 takes king f2 rook h5 bishop c7 knight b5 knight d5. i don't i don't understand what am i missing I must be missing something very obvious. Knight, knight f7, I take, and then I play rook h5, and I'm going to take. Oh, he's got this? Oh. Ah, this is what I'm missing. Of course there was something obvious. I knew there had to be something. Jan would never just blunder like that. Although, wait, I do have rook h5? No, but now it doesn't work. Oh, I could have just taken. Oh, my gosh. I could have I just taken on e6. Oh, my gosh. I'm so blind. Bishop e6 just wins, I think. Knight e6, king d7, rook e6. It takes, takes. Oh my. Oh no, he's got knight e6 at the end. No, I'm insane. It doesn't work. Completely insane. It takes. Okay. Take. Rook e6, king d7. Rook d6, bishop d5 looks good. Oh, I've got rook h6 and takes maybe. Okay, so he takes, I take, and now I go rook h8 and rook h5, and now I can't lose anymore. Of course, I'm not giving Jan a draw here. I'm going to be up a pawn. <laughs> I don't know why he thinks I would give him a draw. He's got double pawns. He's going to lose h3. There's no reason I would give him a draw here. He's completely insane. There's literally no reason I would give Jan a draw here.
Okay, let's think, how do I do this? G4. For G4. Chuck. This is not trivial for white to draw. White should draw the still, I think, but this is not trivial anymore. Oh shoot, he's got this way. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. I forgot he had king f1. Let's take. Okay. Still a draw, but I can play on at least. Just take the pawn. Okay. Go here. King h7, king h6, of course. So rookie six, check, and bishop f5, of course. Oh, I gave him king f3. What was that? It's insane. Oh, that's just so stupid of me. So bishop e2. Now I get g5 at least, and king g6. Store g8. Four. Rook h3 now. Chuck and Chuck and G3. Now I go the other way. Let's go here. Get okay, one and now it just loses. Lose queen and takes. And that's all she wrote. We win again. Let's keep going. Let's play D4. And I have three. Tough games, but it worked. It worked. Very tough games, actually. Jan, Jan is playing better. He's playing. He's playing better than I am tonight. That that much is is abundantly clear. C five. What? This is not right. It's definitely not right. My technique is amazing. I mean, I'm playing okay, but it, I mean, let's be serious. It's not amazing. What is this? Why is, this is not a line. I know this is not a line, but I don't remember why. I just go a3 and takes and b4. Got a nice structure. I can play queen e2 if I need to. Queen e2. I mean, I'm doing. I'm playing okay, but I mean, this is not like you guys are acting like I'm doing something special. I'm playing pretty mediocre. Like this is not. It's not very good. Uh, he wants f5, h3. Okay, if I go h3. Okay, whoa. Knight d5, f5. No, no, I don't want to go knight d5. Knight d5 takes, takes. f5, knight d3. I guess I have to do it, though. Don't really have a choice. Oh, but he's got queen a3. Oh, crud. Shh. <laughs> And now just e6, and I just can resign, basically. Such garbage from me tonight. Knight e7, king f8, and I just have nothing. What am I doing? Takes. Yeah, it's just terrible. Let's go rook b1. 
It goes knight d3. At least here I can pretend, like, d7. Okay, knight f4, just queen d1. I'm sure I'm lost somehow. Just, yeah, I'm just losing. King h1. Yeah, it's a terrible game. Really, really bad game. Okay, I'll play like one more, I think, and then I'm gonna stop for the night. Yeah. Okay, let's play knight c6. Place f4. This is actually bad, though. Isn't this? Wait. No, this is bad. Queen h4. I think king f1, knight f6 is fine for me. Let's go knight f6. Of course, knight g4 is a threat. I also have to stop knight d5. If I take, he gets like knight d5, knight b5, and I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Um, he goes to h3. Now I think I'm supposed to take... Now I take the pawn, surely, and go g5. Knight e5 coming. This has to be good for black. Actually, knight h5 is maybe better because I had knight e5. Okay, we take. Knight d4 looks good. Actually, bishop e6 looks very solid here. And knight d4 first or bishop... I think just bishop e6 is solid. Bishop e5, I just castle. Just castle and take. I'm up a pawn. It's not the greatest pawn that I'm up, but I, it's still, you know, a pawn is a pawn, as, as the Russian proverb goes. So let's play, I think just knight h5, maybe f5. I think I'm just going to go rook g8. He'll go knight e2, obviously. No, I think I will play c5 to stop knight d4. Oh, but he's g4. Mm, I still have f5 at the end, I guess, yeah. Play f5 and takes. And of course, I blunder g4. Um, I'll just play bishop g6, bishop h5 here. Eight idea to play rookie two here. Rookie one, I think I go rook. Okay. Just play h6. It's gonna be a draw probably, unless I can come up with some magic. Although I do have g4 at some point. Okay, let's play rookie six here at least. Go rookie uh, or king b. So king b7 and rookie eight looks better. Also, I have rookie two at some point. I should have played bishop e2, though. It's just rookie eight. Okay, what does this do? He's putting his pawns on light squares, which actually is not precise, in my opinion, because long term there might be issues here. Let's just put the rook on e7, I guess. This b4. Okay, now I definitely go c4. He missed c4, I'm sure, because this this is still a drawish, but white's down a clean pawn. I'm gonna get bishop e2, I think. Okay, it goes a4. That's a strange move. Okay, how do I take advantage? I know this should be good for me. I'm gonna go a6 to stop b5. Probably gonna go bishop e2 back at some point. He's gonna play h4. Who is LH Hess ISQ? <laughs> That is, this is Jan Nepomniachtchi. Kind of hard not to know who he is, honestly. Um, I mean, <laughs> kind of hard not to know who he is. Okay, let's go rookie four here. I want to go h5 at some point. Or actually, bishop d5 looks good. Rookie three check. I'm hitting the pawn. Oh, bishop e6 was even better. Or no, it wasn't because he could still offer an exchange of rooks and draw. Okay, rook f5. What? Bishop e6. Okay, but now I just take a pawn. Oh, I could have played bishop h3. That was actually better, but it's still good. If he moves, he just resigns. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, let's go. Play bishop g5. Let's 
for e3. I should have taken the knight. Um, takes with it. Okay. I think I'll just play c3 here. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, thank you to ABR Wise for the $10 tip. Sorry, I missed it. Um, nice stream. I think you're a huge part of the reason Chess has had a recent popularity explosion on Twitch and YouTube. Matches against Hansen again soon. Um, I don't know if I'll be playing Eric anytime soon, honestly. Like, I would love to, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if that's in the cards. Um, plays e5. Okay, if I take knight f3. So I'll just take and play bishop b5. Check this. This is actually very dry. Yeah. Okay, whatever. This is going to be a draw. I guess I have e4 here. Mm, doesn't really change much. Take and go queen a4. Maybe rook d1 next move. Um, we're now in the bit where he keeps saying last game for like 20, 20 times, right? I'm going to say last game like 20 times here. Um, let's, play, uh, let's go rook a d1. Um, I guess rook e1 is fine. And rook e2 if queen b6. So rookie one, h4, g3. Yeah, very dry though. I'll still play h4. He'll play h5. I go g3. And it's very dry. Yeah. Consistently 5k. Oh, wow. Big shout out to the 6,400 people who are watching. Holy. We have 6,400 people watching in chat. Wow. I just I just looked down. Didn't notice that. Wow. Uh, big shout out to everybody who's watching. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying your Monday evening. Hope you're having a great... Um, uh, you're doing well in quarantine. Just stay safe, obviously. Yeah, big shout out to the 6,400 people who are watching. Thank you so much. Uh, does Nepo stream? Yes, Jan does stream. Oh, is this just garbage for me? Pure garbage? Maybe queen f4. Ah, he's got rook f5. Shite. Um, shite, shite, shite. f4 looks ridiculous. Do, 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 do. Guess I'll play this and queen c1. Uh, thank you to Rooks on 7th for the tier 1. Thank you for the 2 months. Okay, go C4. I saw C4. For some reason, I didn't think it was that dangerous. But it actually might be very dangerous. Maybe I should... I'm going to go King G2 and F4, I guess. Well, he plays H4. Oh, he's trying He's trying to actually attack me here. Oh, H4 is a good move. I didn't even see it. Wow. See, if I take Rook H8. J, Queen E3. I mean, I should be able to make a draw there, though. Queen E4, Rook H4. Yeah, I mean, this should be a draw. I just got to move quicker. Queen e3, queen c6, queen e4. 4, rook h2, rook e2. Rook f4, rook f4, rook f4, rook f4. Or no, I've got king g3, sorry. After queen c6, I have king g3. That's why Jan's thinking so long here, because I have king g3. I don't have to block with the queen. That's why Jan is thinking for so long. So, like, why is Jan thinking here? He's got, like, one move. But it's because he sees there's king g3. That's why. So then, actually, I should be able to draw this pretty easily. Maybe. Maybe it's not It's not so easy, actually. Um, let's go a3. Oh, he's got rook f5, rook e4. Yeah, this is a problem. So just take and go. And he's got check. I mean, I still can probably draw this one precise, but I've got no time. That's the other problem in this position. I'll just go a4. This should be a draw with precise play, but I've got no time on the clock here, so I'm probably not going to be able to draw this. Put the rook on c4. Oh, I could have played f3 maybe. And I blundered again. Yeah, I just blundered again. Maybe. Yeah, it's just losing. Yeah, it just loses. Terrible game. Really, really just terrible. Let's play e5, knight c6. Let's 
Let's go knight f6. Okay, let's play this one. Let's take with bishop c5. Not good. Really not good. Uh, let's play queen f6 here. Let's take bishop e6 queen g6 next move of course uh he plays queen g3 on oh, this one h5 is the right move if i remember correctly Bishop g4, e5, queen e6, of course. There's a pin here on the e5. Knight e4, bishop e7. Okay, bishop e2. That's just bishop e7 is fine. I could have traded maybe, but this should be fine too. Just hg4. It's just about remembering moves. Um, yeah, no, I mean, the end game was losing there, but I used way too much time at the start of that. Like, I was down a minute on the clock. That was the problem. Knight e2. I think I should play... I can play c5 or castles. I'm just going to castle, because now he can't ever castle long, which is very important here. Um, if bishop e3, I'm going to play c5. He can't move the queen because he hangs the pawn on h4 as well, so this is important. I'm doing very well this game. This game I'm doing very, very well. Um, we'll see. Being up on time is important. Yeah, it's very important, actually. Okay, plays queen b3, which is a very good move. I don't know why I allowed this. Um... h4 g3 there's no continuation right queen d7 bishop e3 knight h6 maybe actually yes i like queen d7 and knight h6 knight f5 this looks very good so he goes bishop e3 knight h6 yeah time matters a lot when you're playing someone who's about the same level that you are the, t the time situation matters immensely oh do i hang a7 no i just go b6 surely Chess is about remembering what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, this looks good for me. Yeah, in three minutes it matters. You're playing someone who's at the same level where you're both calculating more or less at the same speed. <clears throat> Time matters tremendously. Okay, bishop f2. I kind of expected this. I thought I had g5. Wait, I've got queen d2. I also have g5. Wait. Um, I don't want to go g5. I assume queen d2 and I'm much better, but I, I'm not. I'm just not seeing the finishes, the finishing lines. I think I'm going to play g5 anyway. Okay, he takes. I take or I throw in the check. I don't know. I'll probably throw in the check here. I just takes. He can't take. So I take. If queen f7, there's got to be some trick with knight e3 and rook f8. E1, I expect this. Now I have knight e3 or bishop e3. I like bishop e3 and knight e3. Oh, he can take and go king f2. He's got rook h2. He's very crap. Wait. But I take, so I have knight e3. Knight d4. Yeah, and this wins. Because knight f3 is a, is a is a jumbo jumbo town port coming here. And it's over. Okay, I think just knight f3 looks good, and rook d2. Okay, knight e1, and rook h5, and rook, yeah, this is just losing for white. If takes, I just take, and he's, he's losing material here. Let's take. And king f4, there's even rook c4. Okay, I just take. Rook h7. Let's take. I mean, these pawns are way too fast, of course. King b7 to avoid some knight c5 weirdness. Um, I mean, just b4 looks good. If g4, I just take. Oh, am I making a... I'm kind of misplaying this. Whatever. Okay, but I've got B3 here, which he forgot about.
Yeah, all right. So that's going to be another win. Okay, let's go again. Okay, I'm going to do something different this game, I think. Yeah, let's play an advanced French, actually. I want to play something different. Let's play the advanced French. So there should be two. If takes, I just take, of course. Okay, knight a3, knight c2. But you guys got the cool sword emotes, yeah. Yeah, okay, f6. Wow, what is this? This is not a move, I don't think. Let's just castle, go knight c2. Suspect, very suspect. I mean, because e5, I take and I... Wait, what? What is this? One H E five. What am I missing? I don't understand. I must be missing something here. Ninety five. Ninety five. What am I missing? I, I don't understand what Jan is doing this game. Okay, Bishop C four looks good. Yeah, Jan is just on tilt. I think in this game, Jan, Jan is completely on tilt. I just need to not go on tilt myself or do something insane. Let's just play ninety three, and I get ninety six. I take the bishop, and then all his attacks are are, are gone. Um, well, why set up the new camera? Well, the problem is, um, I'm going to need to, I need to buy the cords or some of the cords are out of stock right now. So I'm probably going to figure out the camera and then I'll deal with everything else after that. Um, okay. I can just take 96 is not a, um, not a great move. Bishop E6 is a move. Let's just not do something stupid here. Let's just take. Can trade the queens, but I don't want to trade really. So I guess let's go bishop e2. Take it very, very slow and chill here. If e3, I just trade the queens, obviously, um, as opposed to hanging a knight on g5. But yeah, the problem is that some of the cores are out of stock. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which camera I'm going to buy. That's step one, and then after that, I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure out like all the actual like specific stuff. You brought you bought your tactile I call. Yeah, and I hung this pawn. I didn't hang this pawn, but I mean, it's a bit messy here. I have bishop h5, which I think is very good here. But he still has rook d8 and then queen b3. I mean, it's two pawns. This has to be good for me. Yeah, it's two pawns. If this is... Oh, but he's got queen c6. Okay, plays queen d4, which is not the best move, luckily. Thankfully. Um... Knight g5 are their tricks. Knight d3. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to set up some nasty tricks here, and I'm actually like walking into everything. Let's go knight g3. Okay, let's take over bishop e3. Queen h5. Bishop e2. Queen h4. Bishop e2. I'm okay here. Or am I? He's got queen b2. Bishop g4. Queen b3, a, b3. I think I'm okay here, luckily. <sighs> you also bought a USO put. Did you, when did you buy the puts on USO, though? That's the question. If you bought them at the end of the day, I mean, that's all good. Is that camera bad? Well, it's a webcam, and so it's not as clear. I can do better with a clearer. Do I remember Hawkeye, of course? Roland Schmaltz from ICC. Yep. Uh, we still have 5,300 people here, um, so hope you're all having a great evening, really. Um, I'm not going to be streaming that much longer because I do I do need to start prepping for Ali Reza. I mean, I do need to keep the schedule relatively good. Uh, green screen? No, I love my orange wall. Okay, what's he's thinking really deep here. Maybe he's trying to come up with something that's winning. Okay, he goes queen e4. Okay, queen e4. Okay, so he's trying to come up with bishop d1 maybe? I think bishop d1 is fine. So I threaten bishop c2. If I can ever trade off something here, I'm doing great. Thank you to Kokazi for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Okay, so he wants to sack, obviously. I don't know why I didn't go to e2, actually. Oh, why didn't I just go to e2? What, was, what am I doing? That's so stupid. Maybe I'm going to have to play g3 here. Uh... I think. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to sack. Oh, but it doesn't even work. What the, what am I doing? I'm just, oh my, it doesn't even work. What am I doing? Okay, but I can play on. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even work. What was that? I mean, what am I doing? I just blundered again. Not, not, not thinking anymore. I mean, we can just, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, that, that was so bad. That was pathetic by both of us. Really, really pathetic. I, I think Jan's probably going to stop because I think he's probably completely disgusted as well. I don't think I'm the only, or no, he wants to keep going. I'm not the only one who's disgusted though. I guarantee you Jan is not happy about that game either. That was terrible. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is it was a draw. He, we were repeating moves, so it, it draws a fair result. Flag him, flag him. Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of we have the sort of accord. We don't, we don't really do that. Um, let's play h6 here. Let's go bishop b6. He had mate in four. Oh, with b5, he had mate in four, right? Okay. Um, let's go knight e7, knight g6, I guess. Yeah, oops. Take d5, knight d5. <sighs> Rook left was amazing. Well, I mean, it was completely winning, and then it was like, and then I just played like two really, really bad moves in a row, which turned it from like probably winning, not probably winning, completely winning into a complete disaster, basically. Okay, go c6 to support so he doesn't have some trick with takes and some knight f6 fork. Um, cause I can take with a pawn. Otherwise, you'd have this trick. Maybe bishop, bishop e6 was better. I don't know why I didn't play bishop e6 there, actually. So I'll go bishop c7 here. Try to play knight f4. Maybe, maybe rook e8 as well. He goes knight e5. That's a good move. Um, if I take and play queen h4, what's going on? He's got rook e4 at the end. If I take and play knight b4, he's got to move the bishop. Knight b4, trade the queens, and then... If I can trade queens, the structure is completely fine here. If rook e3, I have bishop f5 in between, and he's going to lose material. Okay, bishop f5, obviously. Does this work? I thought I had bishop g6 in between. What am I missing? Because bishop h6, I have bishop takes e5 also. I also have knight d3. Knight d3, bishop g7, bishop e5, takes, takes, f4, queen d1, rook d1. Okay, he doesn't... Oh, he plays knight f4. Okay, that's a strange move, I thought. I think I can take and take because the queen's still under attack. Yeah, I think I, I just take. He missed knight takes knight takes e5 because the queen's still under attack here. So he can't move the knight anywhere. He has to trade queens and I take with f rook and it's just lost. Okay, rook fd. Or actually, I can take with the a rook all. No, just be, don't be don't be a moron. Let's play rook d8. Thank you to Night Store for the hundred bits. Uh, hundred hundred thousand games. No, I haven't played a hundred thousand games. Surely I haven't played anywhere near there. A four. Um. Wait, what is this? Just rook d5. I have knight c4 also. Rook e8 just looks winning. Yeah, it's just winning. G5 next move. He just resigns. Okay. 
Okay, let's stick to D4. It's been working much better than E4, it feels like. I'm just gonna take. Takes with a G pawn. Okay, now C4 and E3 should be fine. E3. Um, I have D5 here also. Wait, D5? Five. Yeah, I'm gonna play D5 here. At B5, I'm gonna go A4, Queen A5, Knight D2 looks fine. Bishop B7, okay, so I'll take. Take, so I can play Queen C2, I can also trade and play, trade and play Knight D2 maybe. I should actually just move though, rather than think so much. Knight d2. Actually, knight d2 looks like a good move, just to take the pawn on c4 with the knight. I'll pre-move it, he's not gonna push, but it's a good pre-move. Knight f3. Knight e5, I just take, of course. Knight b6. I think I'm going to play queen c2 or c1. I think I'll go to c2 here. Maybe I'm castling queenside. I don't know. It's a thought. Rook g8, maybe I take the pawn even. It's a very, very weird position. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think I'll take with the knight. Or I also have rook d1 here. Actually, rook d1 looks like a good... Yeah, rook d1, rook d8. Okay, let's just take castles as expected. Just bishop e2. I'm just going to castle next move. I have to be a little bit careful of some kind of tricks on this. This I just castle. I have rook d1 at some point. Maybe I should have played rook d1 first, but I still like my position here. Actually, knight a. F uh, I like knight a5. Put pressure on this bishop. This is a very nice, nice, classy move. Knight a5. Um, and then rook d1, and now I'm doing very well. Knight a5 is a classy move. Okay, rook b8. It's still not easy to prove anything, though. Knight b7, rook b7. Let's take. Guess he can take with the queen also. Rook d1. Good take. Oh, he's got rook c8. Oh my gosh misses it or does he miss it not really can in between I can in between or him with Bishop d3 probably Bishop d3 Queen g4 yeah I think I have to play Bishop d3 or else I'm, I'm getting my Queen kind of like trapped here somehow although this isn't exactly great either hmm too slow, too slow, too old, too slow. Rook d2. No, Jan just blundered. He has rook d8 still and he's fine, but he this is definitely not what Jan was hoping for. Because I just go knight d4 and I think I hold the draw pretty comfortably here. This music isn't cutting it. What's wrong with the music? Knight d4, of course. If e5, I take. I mean, I should be okay here. Maybe rook b3. Now rook a3, maybe. What, knight d6, rook a7? He blundered knight e6. Oh, he didn't blunder it. Oh, he didn't blunder it. Oh. I miss rook d1 shock. Frustrating. Frustrating. I thought I tricked him. Whatever. It's a draw. No big. No biggie. Keep going. Let's play the Berlin. What? <laughs> I think bishop e6 should be good here. 
An F6 next move traps a knight. Place queen d1. Okay, let's just uh, f6. F6 looks fine. Queen d7. I castle long. Um, actually, what am I doing? I'm making a bit of a mess out of this. Let's just castle. It's gonna put a knight on d5. I go bishop d8, rook e8. I think I have c6 here. Making a mess out of this. Making a real mess out of this. Okay. Actually, what am I doing this game? I'm making a complete mess out of this. I don't know what I'm doing. Seven. <sighs> Pathetic. It takes okay. I can play just like that's just bishop c seven. Now it's just even material after all of that. What am I doing? Says Hikaru every single game he ever played. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> F7. I mean, I'm hitting the pawn on A2. I also have bishop D5. If you don't, it's okay if you don't know what you're doing. Your unconscious moves are better than your. Con Wait, what? There's no trick. I assume I just take. Yeah, this must be winning. Oh, he's got what queen G4 or something. Oh, crud. Well, maybe I can just go a5 here. a5, queen f3, a4. I'm trying to be like Bobby. I'm trying to be like Bobby, Bob, Bobby Fisher here. If I get a4 and though, I'm fine. So it's like, this is about one move. If white has some tactic here that I missed, then white's winning. If white doesn't have a tactic, I'm winning. Okay, he's thinking for a long time here. So he doesn't see a tactic right off, which is very good news. He plays rook a1. So now on f5, he still wants knight g5, I guess? I thank you to Caveman1967 for the tier one. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That's a nice move. I completely missed that, actually. Wait, but it doesn't work. Because now I take and I go A. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, what is this? Queen E1. Let's just play A4, A4 rook A2, A, B3. Let's play A4 here. Okay, take, I go rookie eight. Maybe three. Ah, okay, this should be winning. Queen d5, next move. Jan is very tricky, though. I, I, I must give him credit for that. He's an extremely tricky guy. He finds a lot of these very tricky ideas. Get f4, this should be winning. Yeah, this is just winning. Got to move the bishop now. Bishop a5 looks pretty clean. Ah, he's got c4 still. Still not trivial. <laughs> still not trivial at all. This is crazy. I just take the pawn. Bishop a5 looks good. Hit the rook. This must be winning. Yeah. Two connected. This has to be winning with the. D5 looks good. 
Ah, IMG6. Shoot. What am I doing? B4. And now just bishop B5 wins. And B2, and game over. Let's go again. Let's play D4. Oh, let's just play a Tory here. Do I have an autobiography? No, I don't have an autobiography. The European fans are starting to go to sleep. Yeah. I mean, it is late in Europe, to be fair. I should. Why didn't I, E4 is the move? What is E3? What? Let's go Bishop E2. This castle. So let's play, I don't know, H3 or something. I guess now I'll just go E4. It's like losing a tempo, but who cares? Any plans to do an autobiography? Um, maybe at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. It's a thought. Let's play rookie one, bishop f1 here. E6 I take. Um, okay, so I'm going to go bishop f1 here because I'm expecting him to play for E6 at some point. Um, is E5 really... Because I can take and go knight c4. At least that's my intention. Um... Yeah. Whoa! Look out, a whirl. What is that five? Knight g five, knight e six. Your editor would say no chess. Yeah, autobiographies for young people are always weird. Wait on that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit too young to do one as well. Like, I, I agree with that. That's true. Um, can take. Can take. I, mean, I don't know. It's a weird position. I'm, I'm just going to take because it feels right. Just like. Okay, let's just go C4 here. Build the structure at least. He's got F4, but then Knight F3 and E5 should be good. If he doesn't, let's go Knight F3. I'm definitely pushing. Okay, 95. Um, I guess I'll take and play like. I don't like F. I'll do F3 because I can still slide. I can slide everything off to the off to the other side. Let's play B4. I'm about to go one, two, three, and try to attack on on the queen side. Maybe. Let's go one. This will be two and three. Two. Okay, uh, let's go to G1. This is step number three. Um, oh, this is G4 is really kind of dangerous, actually. How do I do this? Guess I'll just go Rook G1. Whoa! Thank you to Matt Staples for the raid with 1,526 people. Thank you so much to Matt Staples for the raid. Hope, hope the tables are, hope the felt is treating you well. Hope you had some caches today. Hope all is well. Uh, we're playing some blitz here. We're playing chess. Um, thank you once again to Matt Staples. I think Matt is, or I can't say anything, but I think Matt is involved with something related to chess coming up sooner or later. So um, anyway, thank you so much to Matt Staples for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. We are playing chess here. I'm going to go Bishop F1, support the pawn. I also could have taken and taken. Oh. But this is still fine. Okay, let's go. Um. It's just queen a4's logical. Hit the rook, hit the pawn. Queen a5, queen c5 is coming. To queen a5. Actually, I should have just taken the pawn. I don't know why I didn't take it. Okay, let's just... Um, I'll take with the bishop. It's queen a7 or queen c7? I'm gonna go queen c7 to keep an eye on all these pawns. I have d6 coming as well. Is it just me or is the volume low? I think it's just you. I think the volume should be relatively fine uh, for the time being. <laughs> I'm blazing up today. I don't. I don't do. I don't do that stuff, bro. Um, okay, so he wants gh3, which is actually how did I miss this? Somehow I've made a total disaster out of this position. Don't even have bishop f2 here. Um, maybe rook a2? 98 though, shoot. Okay, 
Takes, takes. Got no time. I've just got to move. I'm just going to sack. Just sack and go c5. And d6 or bishop c4 next move. Takes. Oh, shoot. I blundered. Again, I blundered at the worst possible moment. Crap. Just blunder again. I mean, completely winning and I threw it all away there. So bad. Pathetic. But it's a six. <sighs> Just wonder this one, too. Let's go bishop b6 and takes. Completely winning, and I threw that all away. Very unfortunate. Okay, so he goes like bishop plays f4. I'll just take and go d6. Knight, knight f6, knight e7. Next move. <laughs> these nerds have serious chess. These nerds have serious chess endurance. I mean, chess is not that nerdy anymore. There was a time that it was, but I, I wouldn't say chess is nerdy nowadays. Just play f5 here. It's probably a terrible move, undoubtedly. Bishop e6, pressure on all the pawns. Queen d7, rook e8. Chess is Chad nowadays. Weird, 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 weird. Okay, let's go queen d7, rook f7, rook e8. Okay, rook e1. Okay, I can take, I can also play rook f8. I like rook f8 here. Just put more pressure on this pawn at f4 down the road. Nerds aren't even nerdy these days. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Did I do commentary on my chess games from today from the Magnus Carlsen invite? Yes, I did. I did comments. Actually, this song isn't doing it for me. Let's move on. He plays h3. I can push a b pawn. I can push a pawn here. Got structural issues on the queen side. So I'm going to just play b6. Oh, I give him g4. Of course. Of course. At least I have d5 or something here. Uh, thank you to Admiral Thorne for the sub with Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, rook d1. I think that's a mistake. So I have queen a4 here. I just got bishop d5. Although I can take f5. Oh, f5 is a good move. I missed that. Um... And then he has rook d5. Wait, but if I... No, no, it takes... <sighs> takes, I guess I take in a bishop a6, rook d5. Bishop b7. Maybe just knight c8 and knight d6 here. Oh, he's just got queen g7 as well. I just forgot about queen g7 altogether. Okay, takes. It's got a take, I take. King f8. F6, I just take and I run the king. It's still losing, but it's not trivial for white to win. The queen e5. Queen d7. F6, G6, or F6, Knight, C4, it's... Wait, what? Oh, but he's got Queen, D4. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Stupid. I should have gone Knight, E8. Very stupid of me. Play B5. C6. Put 
the pawn. Oh, that's a mistake. I gave him a square. Or no, I have knight b7 still. I gave him a square. Knight a3 maybe, or king f7. Guess I just take. Before knight a3 now. Oh, he's making a mess out of this game. This is not trivial anymore at all for white to win. Because knight a3 and I take the pawn because he can't push it. Okay, h4. No, I think I think Jan has misplayed this completely. I might be winning now. I think I'm actually winning. Okay, let's think. So h3 is a good move. Knight a3 is a move. Let's put the pawn on h3 first. Check a knight f1 and he just loses. Or knight f3 and he's losing. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Oh, I meant to go d4, whatever. Doesn't matter. Play e4. It's castle. Play a3. <laughs> Nepo weak. I mean, he won the previous game that he had no business winning, so I mean, it's it's it makes sense that I mean I should I should win one, right? I should get a swindle sooner or later as well. Let's go c3. b4, I probably play c4 here. What's going on? We are chilling, chat. We're having a good evening so far. Um, well, so far being relative term. I mean, I'm not thrilled with my play overall, but it's been good enough thus far. Um, I don't want to go c4. I think I just stick to bishop f4 and takes. Plays b4 anyway. Um, I mean, there's got to be some... I'm going to go knight d2 and knight c4 here. Knight d6. It feels like there should be some sacks here. Queen g4. Just ignores it. Wow. Um, okay, let's go knight c4. I feel like knight f6 is a move. I mean, there's so many options here for me. It feels like something must be winning. Take six, queen g4 even. How is there not some win here? Knight d6 does nothing. Knight f6. I think I'll just play queen e2, actually. Just keep it slow and steady. He's got knight e5. Ugh, I have to go knight b2. c4, at least I play d4 and knight e3, I think. Knight e3, and I'm fine here. I'm headed to bed. Good night, DK. Have a great rest of your evening. Um, uh, stay safe, and uh, stay safe, have fun, don't die, as the, as the saying goes. Let's play knight e3 here. I, I desperately want to play d5, but I can't make it work. I'm just going to go queen f3. Maybe g4, g5 is a move here as well. I think a dragon claw for the uh, for the sub with prime. Thank you so much. I don't know if he can sack. It's hard for me to believe that this works, honestly, but I'm going to play g5 in a move or two as well. If he's really on tilt, he might actually sack the rook, but he's, he's not that on tilt. Although he's on... Eh... I guess I'll bring... Actually, what about g5? Actually, I like g5. Try to force this kingside open. They need a honking donkey for the sub with prime. Don't dirty flag because it's 3-0. I totally am dirty. Oh, don't dirty flag because I'm, I'm... Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, let's take. Let's just take. e6 is a move. I think I'm just going to go king h3, though. I've actually got a very good position here, I think. Like, bishop g3. I want to go bishop h4. Put pressure on the rook. Maybe f4, f5 at some point. Knight is bad, obviously, but everything else that everything else here looks pretty good. Oh, but he's got f5, which of course I forgot, conveniently. Well, let's try this. Let's go here. If I trade and go knight, okay, let's trade. Knight d1. Knight e3 coming. I'm not so sure how good this is for black, actually. This looks quite dangerous, in fact, because if I get the knight to e3, I put pressure on all the pawns, and then he's got big issues. G1 takes. G1. B2, I think I have knight c2 and knight b4. Oh, no, I don't have that. Whoops. Um, oh, crap. Got to just take the pawn, then. Okay. Oh, 
Uh, Ali Rez and I don't actually play Bullet basically at all. So, uh, and last time we played, I actually beat him pretty badly. I beat him like six to one, I think. So, um, that's not exactly a correct statement. Oh, oh, he found this. That's very annoying. Wait, no, but I can still check, right? A 93, yeah. Yeah, 93, and I'm still doing... Oh, uh, can... Yeah, I'm still doing well. Check. Okay, now I just lost. We're, we're rolling! Rolling, rolling, rolling. Play E5, Knight C6 here. That was a 24-hour stream, right? I, I had been on, I had been streaming for like 19 hours when I played him, and I still beat him. Yeah, let's go Bishop B4. This is what this is the Killers, right? There's a girl that I used to like many years ago who loved the song. I don't know why, but she did. Okay, I still don't believe him. I'm gonna play Bishop F5 anyway. The song is nostalgic, yeah. This is a good song. Yeah, <laughs> that girl's me, right? Yeah, exactly. Not. Just take Bishop B three, Bishop D five. I don't really understand what Jan is doing here. Okay, goes King G three. I still have Rook D eight here. I mean, I'm up a pawn. It's not the greatest pawn. Knight D five. I'm definitely in good shape here. Let's just play uh, just Bishop E6. Consolidate. Be very steady here. No nonsense. All right, chat. Let's take it easy. Let's relax. Take a deep breath. Okay, now I have Rook D8 here. I think I have Knight D5 also. I go Rook D8. I mean, I feel like I've got all these pawns. I should really find a way to use them. Um, I think I'm just going to play Rook D8. If it's no good, it's no good. But I mean, I don't trust this Knight F7 working for white. It doesn't seem like it should work. Okay, H4. I'll just drop the Rook back now. I don't really... This I don't understand at all. Because I'm going Knight D5, B5. White's still probably a good... Not, white, still, white can still probably draw this. Okay, let's see. Knight, I guess King E8. He should have played Bishop G5 and traded. I don't know why he didn't trade. Um, nobody's. Oh, but he's still got Bishop G5. Shit. Um, I should have gone the other way too. Um, okay, let's see. I'm just going to play B5 and takes. Rare Hikaru swearing, yes. Rare, yeah. The King H4. Um, this is actually not easy to play. I think I play... This is just going to be a draw. There's not much I can do. Um, is this a draw, actually? Wait, maybe... No, I should play G6 and trade. This is important, actually. Okay, now just like C5 and A5. This has to be a draw. Yeah, this is just a draw, I think. So I have B3 and A4, C4, and it's a draw. Made a bit of a mess out of this one, but it's, it's going to be a draw. Um, yeah, I just go B3. And just um, I mean, Rook F8. Rook B2. Just, just C4, it's just a draw. I don't think either of us can really do much here. King g6, I just make the check. I don't know what rook g2 does exactly. I just go... I've Wait, I've got rook b... No, no, I don't. Okay. Just a draw. Neither side can do anything here. He's going to have to check. I go back.
So he plays a four. I don't know what a four. Wait, I've got to be a touch careful. Wait, but now I can go rook b8 and b2 if he pushes the pawn. Now Jan has to be careful. Jan misplayed this. Now he's losing. Because of h7, I go b2, and he takes, I take, and then I have a back rank check, and I win. And he goes rook b2, king f7, he resigns. Just like that, Jan turned this from a draw into something that probably is losing. Maybe not for sure losing, but probably losing. With a rook on g2, he had rook g7 check, and then h7, h8. That's why I couldn't do it with the rook on... Wait, what? Oh, he still has a... Oh, he still got h... Wait, rook h8? Oh, no, he still has a trick. Okay. Still got a trick. Okay, goes h7, rook h8. But I'm going to flag him anyway, so it doesn't matter. No, dude. <laughs> Draw, please. All right, chat. And with that, I think that's good for now. That's that's um, that's 12 and a half, six and a half. That's plus six. That's like, actually, that's what? 19 games, a lot of games. So...